Hey guys, welcome back to the STEM Girls and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to code and this is going to be the first installment of a series. This is really really basic so if you've never touched code and you don't know the first thing about code, this is the video that you should go to. The language that we're going to be starting off with is HTML since it's really basic and it's really easy to learn. HTML just means hypertext markup language and it's also the main language used for making a website which I believe it's a very useful skill in this day and age. So the first thing that we need to do before writing our code is download some sort of text editor and there's so many online that use from but the one that I'm going to be using is called brackets and it's really easy and it's free to download all you need to do is go to your web browser write download brackets text editor and click on the first link and you can just download it here and I've obviously already downloaded it so what I'm going to be doing is opening up a new file to write our very first web page. I like the screen just to be big and clear so what I'm going to do is just hide this sidebar and what I'm going to do is save this file because we need to save it in order to open it up in our web browser to see what the magic that our code has done. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop here and I'm just going to name it my first web page. Um, whenever you're naming some type of web address, it's normal to use all small letters and no spaces. As you can see with any website that you go to, there are no spaces and it's all in small letters. So that's what we're going to do here. So it's just going to be called my first web page, save. You can also press command S to save it, but I just like to keep it really basic and just use the actual file icon. So if we go inside our desktop, there it is. So what we're going to do is open, open with Google Chrome and here it is obviously it's blank we haven't written anything in it what we're going to do is test it out to see if it's working so what we're going to do is write you can write anything you want i'm just gonna write the first thing that comes inside my head i'm not sending some kind of message or anything it's just the first thing that came inside my head. And what we're going to do, what we need to do is save our HTML file every time we make some sort of adjustment to our code. And that's the only way it'll show up onto our web page. So we're going to file, save, and now go back into Chrome, refresh, and there we have it. So, and what I'm going to do now is just put the web page, web browser, sorry, and the text editor side by side, like the Ariana Grande song. Is it called side by side? Or side to side? I don't know, one of those. And just because it'll just, it'll just be a lot easier just to see the adjustments that I've made. Okay, so what I've done for you guys is type out this very basic um, text that you need for your HTML. This is the basic structure. And with this, we're going to build on top of it um, as we go along in the series. So it's very important to understand every single aspect of what all of this is. So let's begin. The first thing that you might notice is these little triangles on the, the start and the end of each one of the texts. And these are called tags and they usually come in pairs. So there's one always at the start of an element and at the end of an element. And you can see that throughout the text. And if we look at line number one, it says doc type 
HTML. And this just tells us what kind of document type that we're writing up. It's kind of like this declaration just to inform your text editor that look, this is the kind of document that we're going to be writing. This we can see in line number two that it says HTML. And we can see an opening element. And if you look all the way down here, it says the same thing again, but with the forward slash. And now the forward slash indicates that it's a closing element, an opening element of the HTML and a closing one. And you get that a lot. You get um, a lot of things in pairs and anything that's in between the HTML is part of the HTML file. So if we go ahead to number three, it's, it says head. And again, we see a closing head tag and the forward slash indicates that it's a closing tag. And in between the head, we see title. Now, this isn't a normal kind of title. This is the title for your actual um, web page that you see in the tag. So I'm just going to show you right here. This right here is basically the code that we've written but in web page form and as you can see this title it's right up here on the tab side and the head element just tells us all the meta information about this document and again we can see from the title there's an opening title tag and there's a closing one and this this is indicated by the forward slash so on line number six we see is the body element and this basically is what's written on the tin it's the body of the page this is where you can see all the information for your page such as the title the contents like literally everything and what we see within the body are two elements that we can see here which is called the heading and the paragraph. So the heading is done by the H1 tag and H1 basically indicates the size of the header with one being the biggest and it goes all the way down to six which is the smallest. Finally on line number 10 we can see the paragraph tag and the paragraph tag just indicates basically the paragraph of the web page as you can see there where the text is smaller and there's a gap between the two lines and again we've discussed this it's ended by the body because that's where the body of the page ends and line number 12 is the html tag because that's when the html page ends let's try and add an other paragraph so we do our opening triangle, write P, do our closing, and we can write anything in this title. I'm just going to write, I'm just going to do, and close. And remember, all of these are small, and forward slash, file, save. Let's refresh our page and here it is, the same kind of text with the same spacing. What you can do is just mess around with it. I know it looks really bare right now but in the coming videos it's going to get a lot better. And that's all for today, I just wanted to go over the really basic, the bare bones of um, the HTML language. If you'd like to visit my blog that would be pretty cool, neat as well. And um, thanks for all the support that I've been getting. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for all the traffic and all the people viewing my YouTube page. It's really inspiring. And next video for this will be up soon. I promise you guys. So that's all for now. Huh?